Welcome, class, to a workshop on Coach Joe Rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe Rule number 31, which states, Avoid generating technical debt. When developing software applications, technical debt is inevitable. Technical debt is created when the software development team deploys the code that is good enough instead of taking the extra time to deploy optimal code. It's all about time management. Should we spend the time now and write good code, or spend additional time later on related work? Let me explain with an example. Imagine we are working on a large application, and it is broken down into smaller coding projects or feature stories represented by these bars. The red line represents the minimum amount of code needed to complete the story. The pink line is the amount of code written at the time of deployment. The checkered section is considered optimal code, the yellow section represents technical debt. It is the amount of code needed to make it optimal. How is tech debt created? It can be generated by developers and non-developers. We could talk for hours on this topic, but here are some general ways it happens. The business or manager makes a decision to deploy the software now, even though it's not 100% complete. Sometimes accidents happen, be it intentional or unintentional. Requirements can change, new technologies are being used, or deployment issues. And finally, there is code rot. Too many small changes written over time by several developers with poor coding standards has turned the code into a mess. As the technical debt accumulates, the ability to add, maintain, and change the application to meet the business needs becomes more difficult and time-consuming. Developers should avoid these common mistakes that generate technical debt not following the established naming and coding standards set by the company or team. Coach Joe rules were created to help write cleaner code and avoid tech debt. Junior developers have a tendency to make common mistakes. This could be avoided with a proper code review or better pair programming. Optimal code includes proper unit testing, QA testing, and line coverage. Supporting unit tests makes refactoring code easier. Performing a quick fix for immediate deployment with the intention of making it optimal later. Avoid this shortcut. And making too many changes in multiple locations without running or having supporting unit tests can lead to more technical debt. Technical debt can be encountered in the existing code. Sometimes it is code that was once optimal and other times it was poorly written. While working on your current story, your goal is to write good, optimal code. Sometimes existing technical debt will be discovered. You have some resolution options to consider. Fix all of the discovered debt as part of your current work. Fix some of the discovered debt as part of your current work. Add an entry into the product backlog for future consideration. Make a to-do comment in the code for future reference. Ignore the debt and do nothing. Or, add your changes to the mess and make it worse. Reducing existing tech debt is all about time management. Since all debt cannot be fixed, consider these options. Focus on the current code area and frequently changing code over the completed code areas and infrequently changing code. Some debt needs to be prioritized in the backlog if the effort now will help save valuable time in the future. Some small debt can be addressed during a related coding story. And developers should dedicate 20% of their time for resolving tech debt. When working in the application, I challenge you to be mindful of technical debt. Try to finish with cleaner code than when you started. Leave a comment down below with ways you and your team manage technical debt. Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break! Break.